This is Enter the Arena. I'm your host, C. Rich, and if you have been following my betting predictions, then you have only seen more riches this year. Uh, we're going to do a Fight Night 62 predictions and betting recap. Uh, kick things off, I went 9-3 and three for overall picks, uh, and went 2-1 uh, and one for parlays, and 0-1 oh and one for mainline picks. Uh, first of all, I had uh, Freddie Serrano. I was pretty strong about him. Uh... That one was, was, was a really good fight. Um, he didn't even wrestle with him. Uh, got a nice knockout. Next, I had Diagos. Cristiano's Diagos. That was a good one. Uh, Leonardo Mafra. Uh, that was a good one. Three for three. Leonardo Silva. That one was called really early, but still. So, went four for four. Then the uh, Millions uh, Million Souza. That one was fucking easy. One punch knockout. I uh, told you guys that was going to be my one of my big plays. Fortunately, I I don't know what the hell I was doing right before then. I don't know. I, I forgot to bet him or something. I don't even know. Um, uh, Trinaldo, that was an easy one. He just fucking scraped the mat with uh, Acroba. Um, then then it then it started going a little under. Uh, Andre Feely lost. Uh, Gato Pepe. So that was a good one for him. Um, Gilbert Burns, that one, wow. He was about to lose, but he won. Um, Man of Noons, Baszler, that one was pretty fucking one-sided. <laughs> I was giving Baszler a little credit, but she's washed up and old. Um, Leonardo Santos upset Tony Martin. His line actually fucking rose up to like minus 170 from being an underdog. Um, I actually didn't even put any money on Martin. <laughs> I put it on the other side. But, uh, so, uh, Eric Silva, he, he washed up the mat. And uh, Ryan LaFlair got dominated by Maya, so that was my third one. Uh, the bets that I did make, uh, I started off the night really good. Um, you know, uh, both my parlays fucking, both my parlays hit. I had, uh, Serrano and Diagos. I did four for 15. Uh, that's when I caught, um, Serrano at a plus 160 until he rose up to a minus 160. Screw that. Um, then I had, uh, Serrano, Serrano, Leonardo Silva, and Kevin Souza. I did five for 20. That one cashed. Um, and then I just didn't play, uh, the rest of the card until it got to the main card. And then I did uh, Leonardo Santos at plus money, uh, Eric Silva and Orion LaFlair, 5 for 20 parlay. Bummer, that one got busted. Um, and pretty much it, it came down to my, my thought process was, okay, I got $35 profit, so I'm going to make this $5 parlay. And then basically it came down to LaFlair, and I was like, well, you know, I, I want to bet on him, so I put a 25 for 20. And, you know, no matter what, uh, the way that I increment my bets, it's, it's, I can even them out and all that. I was going for a double up, uh, you know. I figured, hey, let's make, uh, I think it would have been like 60 something, 70, 75 bucks if, if LaFleur would have won for the night. But instead he lost and, uh, it was only a $5 profit night. Wah, wah. But profit is motherfucking profit. Um, either way, I, I, I still think I'm up like 300 and something dollars, maybe pushing $400 for the year, uh, just on MMA uh, betting alone. So, uh, hey, if you like my video, please uh, like my page. Please always subscribe. Uh, send me hate mail. Send me positive mail. Send me anything. Uh, I will respond. And uh, if you have any questions about anything, uh, I'd be more than likely to help. Um, my buddies and I, we do have a new website that's about to launch. It is sprawlandcall.com. Uh, we'll have some regional fighter interviews, uh, some betting predictions, a little bit of you know fan-oriented fan things, you know, for you guys to be uh, a little interactive with us. So uh, I'll, I'll post. A, uh, I won't post a link yet, but when it, when it is finalized and everything is up, I'll let you guys know. Uh, until then, don't blow your bankrolls. I will have a video for Bellator and World Series of Fighting. Um, so yeah, please watch those. Later.